Respiration on Earth. A Time Machine by Bernard Venables. Monday, the 4th October, 1976. A Time Machine, Doctor Who and Sarah fight Megacorn. The Lord of Chaos has discovered how the Earth is formed. The sound of rushing through Kermit's cosmic vastness is heard inside the TARDIS control room. Todd Who singing to himself, Doctor Who. There's a reason. There's a response, Jelly Baby. Red crypto a cater cancel. That's odd. Nothing's happening. In the coat. Oh no, Sarah Jane Smith. Oh, that's great. Doctor in travel. <clears throat> Doctor, is there something? You're keeping something from me. Doctor Who, what? Sarah Jane Smith. You're keeping something from me? Doctor Who, no, no, no. Of course not. You know how tactful one must be. No continuing resolutions. Delicate bit of organisation, you know. Sarah Jane Smith, old doctor, come clean. Yes, there is something. Doctor, well, yes, there's something malfunctioning. Well, the rare, term malfunctioning, a relative dimensional computer. Sarah Jane Smith in English? So, Doctor Who, it means the steering's gone haywire. So, Jane Smith, oh, well, of course, lost in space. So, Doctor Who, well, yes, that's the point. Doctor, just, so, Jane Smith, at this speed, we're getting looser and looser, thousands and thousands more miles every second. Doctor Who, yes, we're sliding with enormous speed in the retrograde time. Let's look the chromatic. Meet chromatic instrument meter is a humming sound mixed in with cricking, crickering sound like a croak noise made by a toad. To who? The way we're going to, we could be out of earth time, reckoning soon. Cricking sound becomes more frequent, humming rises to intensity and fades. To who? We've stopped. There's a false script of TARDIS. I don't know what it is. It's interesting. Yes, it's very interesting. We've got back 4,500 million years of time. So, Jane Smith, oh, don't you ever feel lonely, Doctor? I do, I do now. 4,500 years back down the waste of space time. But to 4,500 million years, yes, there's the rings, the bell, Sarah. I think we're going to be able to see what your funny little... What your little funny planet, little planet started from? Jane Smith, how? How are we going to see the start of dear old Earth? Just open the TARDIS door and step into t- endless space, space with no atmosphere. But who? Just step into this capsule with me. We hear their voices, though they have been, they were now inside. Jane Smith, oh, not very really big, is it? But who? Well, it's a two-person capsule. Right now, I'll just have to inject it. So, does Sarah Jane Smith, oh, there's a faint sound of air being pumped in. Dot who now, quiet burbling sound is heard. Dot who, out we go, there's a whooshing sound, then the sound of a strong wind, Dot Sarah Jane Smith, oh, ow, oh, it's all right for you, your time, Lord. This gives me a hate earache. Dot who, there, look, Sarah, look at that enormous body. Sarah Jane Smith groans us again. Dot who, we've held it in the pull of it far bigger than the earth of your time. A wondrous sight, isn't it? Sir James Smith, oh, yes, yes, it's a wondrous sight. Dot who, enormous blowing mass of gases, fell and burning. Sir James Smith, flaming tongues looking out of it. Dot who, well, it's hot, you know, millions of degrees centigrade. There's gases churning and burning. There's space gases, not oxygen, no oxygen there. Found and strong. Wind continues. To do, and right in the middle, wrapped in an inferno, was a coral rock, a ball almost certainly molten, and that's about the size of the planet Earth. Beginning your uh, whole planet, Sarah. Sound the wind continues. Sarah Jane Smith, oh, if I ever get home. To do, you will. You will. Come on, back to the TARDIS. There's the same wishing sound heard earlier. Sound of TARDIS interior console home can be heard in the background. So did Smith, oh, so much for the beginning of Earth. It was frightening. Doctor Who, now I think we should beam steadily on the same track will follow the progression trail. So it being Earth. Wait a bit. Oh, free us up, free us from the pole. 
I was treating with low beeping sounds. Dot who Cosmo retrograde's comes should do it. It's done. Movements. Flora Jane Smith sighs as, as there is a sound of Tidus to demuratizing. After this, we hear the dreaming sound of vote in the atmosphere like the sound. Time vortex culminating the rubber, rapid electronic wobbling. Sound of the TARDIS interior console room can be heard in the background. So too, we stopped again. We caught the pull of a huge force. Sarah Jane Smith, oh doctor, not again. But who, yes, again. But you should be happy. Your millions of light, your millions of years. Earth time nearer home. Come on, Sarah Doctor, whose voice, though he'd been moved into capsule again. But who, let's see what's happened to your Earth in the meantime. In the capsule, the whoop machine sound darts again. This time the wind sound has changed. Sarah Jane Smith, oh, it's smaller. Doctor who, yes. The earth progressing as far that huge fiery mess is much so smaller now, isn't it? Trying to Smith, that's much, much smaller. Dot who, well, yes, smaller inside the earth, you know. Jerry Jane Smith, what's that? Dot who, sound action, rode away all the hot gases and see, the planet began to solidify. So Jane Smith, it needs to solidify before you set foot on it. Fan continues, Dr. Who, it's magnificent. The progress, order is coming on this planet. Fast and lovely process. There's a sound of eruption. And so you see how the earth surface earthquakes. See how it opens yawning wounds of fire. There's shrimming lakes of molten rock. The earth has been forged, moulded. There's a loud explosion, this faint sound of a distant, echoing voice. So Jane Smith, what was that? Dr. Who, lightning, that's all. There's a sound of a lash of lightning, but the lightning is making a quite different sound. So, Doctor Who, look, but look, look, the first crust is forming, affected both sight. That sharp, hard rock sound of lightning continues. So, the earth is in the making, a deep, broken voice, the Megagron. Now, it calls out clearly, Megagron, who are you? So, who, what are you? Megagron, who are you? Lord did sickly. Megagron, who are you trampling into trampling inferior says, Why are you here, Doctor Who? Well, we're troublers, Megagron. Be careful in your answer. I am Megagron, High Lord of Chaos, Chief of the Canaroids. Lord of Chaos. Doctor Who? Yes, yes, of course. Megagron, moving in, don't strain. I hear you. I'm a Time Lord. Megagron, ah, a Time Lord. Time has been enemies of Caragons. Down in the ages. So you come into Furin again now and then. Oh then I am Megatron. Taken of this hot mass of map chaos of chaos. Nothing but can alter his disorder. So it, it must be beyond the reach of time. Dot who you're very confident, aren't you? Megatron. But uh, you're always much do you always remember noises they are or how they fall? Megacron, from the trivial listen and learn. This is a kingdom of chaos, sacred, unchangeable. Doctor Lu's thinking. Everyone's thinks changing all the time. Look, they see. <clears throat> ready, rusted, ready, rock crust. Rock crust is forming gas from within the planet, replacing space gases. Out of his torment. Out of its torment is coming order. Very good from Roger Dimitri. But who yes order? Megatron roars louder, Doctor Who laughed. But are you in vain? It's a mere transit. Part of progression. You think this is chaos? A beautiful fruitful planet is destined to come. And Megatron impertinence, hey say. They do, you deny true knowledge. You'll be punished, punished, the voice starts to fade away. But who you heard that before? Megatron punished. But who haven't we heard that before, Sarah? Sarah Jane Smith, don't provoke him, but uh Megatron Sovereign us. Take that. There's a sudden crack of thunder and lightning. Doctor Who, he's Erickson, isn't he? Shall we go? The swishing sound starts up. There's never a peal of thunder. The sound of Dardis interior console room you've heard in the background again. Sarah Jane Smith. Oh, that was close, Doctor Who. Now, let's get out of here. 
Tosh to meditation sound, followed by the jingling sound of time vortex, culminating some rapid electronic pulsing sounds. As before, the sound of Tardis interior room, concert room, can be heard in the background. So, Jim Smith was slumming. Told who, yes, we're coming. It's soon, millions of years on, onwards. Another stage, yes, we stopped. Now I think that, that who, Jane Smith, oh, no, don't say any more. Just, oh, let it surprise me. To do, come on in, come on inside the capsule. They rejected again. To do, that's it, ready? We hear the wishing sound again. This time is sound of fierce howling wind. So Jane Smith, oh no, not, no. It's horrible, Doctor. The earth has been torn apart. It's horrible, the fine vain canyons. Oh, to do, marvelous, aren't they? Sound of eruption. To do, now look hard. I'm showing this through the cool. Press till see. Sight. It lets the events of a million years pass before you minutes. It, it, it's letting you see the passage of forces that forged and fashion the planet you'll call home. Volcanic eruptions continue. But who see the vast cauldron of volcanoes boiling the rock until it burns, runs like cream, and all these eruptions continue amid the flowing howling gale. But who see now the body, the body of the planet split by the force, enormous earthquake shocks. Sir Jane Smith, oh, so to who's shuffling and rearranging the materials of it, wrenching and ripping and moulding the earth? To Sir Jane Smith, oh, 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 the doctor, I feel sick. To who, yes, of course you do, Sarah. But look, look, there is explosion rumble. So to who, global tribal, tribal, tidal waves, raging, sweeping, drowning continents. Sir Jane Smith, well, I don't sound so happy. Even you must be frightened. But who oh stop rendering Jane, Sarah. If I make it again, mid the howling pale hell. Not to look up. A huge plane. Sally Rumble continues. Joe Smith is shuddering. But who look like always. He's stifting, you see. Before your eyes, hoils raising higher, higher becoming mountains. A steady rumble work continues they speak. But who rearing up a great mountain range following it by his birth thus up. Towering to the skies from the plain. So, Jane Smith, but it must be as high as Mount Everest. But who Mount Everest? I like I wonder where Megatron is. Hear me, chaos, but look, Sarah, look. There's progress, a fun of forming of order. Megatron roars suddenly. That who? Megatron, order will come, never come, order will never come, order will never come. That who? That's him. A Megatron, never, never. See how the tormented, tortured body is played, wrecked and torn by the horrible horror of its volcano, like a vast plague of boils. A rumble amid the hailing gale continues to be heard. Megatron. See how it tries to take silver form. Earthquake turning to eruptions of chaos. No air for sea creatures to breathe, and it gases to choke and smother. But who? Oh, hello, Megatron. Are you still around? Thought perhaps you've given up. Order. Megatron still order rolls at the word. Doctor Who laughs. Doctor Who? If you are, if you want to ask a question, please put your hand up. Megatron, you think you impress me because you are a time lord? You say that what you will. I am a high lord of chaos. Chaos so rules. But oh no, Megatron. The again and the planet is hissing sound amid the sound of chaos. But as you see, no longer using space gases, generating its own earth gases. Already there is a little oxygen, just a little. There's a sign of what's to come. Maybe no, no, you lie, there is no oxygen. There can, there can be no life, Dr. Who, wrong. Better on wrong again. Do you see a fine granite crust on this earth? It's already forming out of fury. The volcanoes have been melt and remelt the rock. It forms the granite, progress order. Megatron rose again, much to Doctor Who's amusement. Doctor Who, a future destiny of this planet. Not you or the criminal drones could stop it. Chaos is passing, the storage future is coming. Megatron, life will take over this planet. Megatron, impotent in upstart, greenness. Voice fades away. Doctor Who, come on, Sarah. In, into the TARDIS, a wishing sound is heard again. As before, the sound of TARDIS more interior. Console room can be heard in the background, but who not a good loser, Megatron? 
Is he? Let us move on. Terror has this neutralized sound is heard. The dangling sound of time vortex. The sound of terror times materialization starts up. To do, oh Sarah, you feel the tide is changing slowly? Lummy? To do, Sarah Jane Smith, yes. To do, we stopped, but we just, but we, but we just not to stop, Sarah. Materialization sound comes, stops completely. To do, can you feel? You landed. Sarah Jane Smith landed. To do, yes, Sarah. Open the door, you can go out. Sarah Jane Smith, well, you say so, but there, it's, there's that fear. Time, there's peace, no howling wind. The sound of sheer bleak, bleak breathing. So Jane Smith, oh, the sweet air. It hails Jane, Jane Smith. Oh, it's flooding in. Birds can be heard tweeting. But who oh, out you go, Sarah? So Jane Smith, oh, doctor, it's so beautiful. We can hear occasional sounds of sheep bleating of twirled sweets. So Jane Smith, the central sunshine, trying on over this lone, lovely landscape. Trees and flowers everywhere, all sorts of colours. Hey, can't you smell them, doctor? Look at this. His leaf is a butterfly. What's happened, Doctor? Doctor Who. Well, we skipped through millions of years, and a very important thing has happened. There's lots of options. All these green things, trees, flowers, they make for, for sunlight. That's why it's possible to, for you to live on Earth. So, Dane Smith, what happened to Megatron? Megatron is still here, still here. You thought I was no more. Doctor Who, you're persistent, aren't you? Come on, Megatron. Time you would be... For you to be beaten, we must fight. Pit our strength with telepathic will deployment. So, Jane Smith, what's that, Doctor? Doctor Who, not now, Sarah, I'm busy. Amid a peal of thunder, there's a humming and pulsating sound, which generally gradually rises in intensity. There's a boom of thunder. Doctor Who, Vegaton, holy Lord's chaos. You are banished from planet Earth. Humming and pulsating increases. There's another boom of thunder. Megatron cries out. His cry is fading away amidst rumbles of thunder. Megatron, I am going, going. I live in and chaos will come again, come again. Again, voice, thunder, rage, fade away. But who? Bye bye, Megatron. Bye bye, chaos. Bye bye. Bye bye, Sarah. Sarah, the Smith, bye.